Friends, greetings from heaven. <laughs> I am in heaven now, above the clouds, you see. Uh, clouds are just uh, below me. And it's uh, the skies above. See how low the clouds are here in Iceland uh, after past midnight. But, 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 see behind me also what is happening. <laughs> the volcano is erupting right now. July 2nd. So let me show it to you as always from Big Ram. No wind here, which is a kind of very, very special case on the top of the mountain. No wind. Usually it's uh, very, very strong winds here, but not today. So it's very good. We are blessed. So as I told, I'm about clouds because clouds in Iceland are very low now in the night. You see, they are very low. And uh, I'm just above the clouds here uh, on the top of Big Ram observing this action. Incredible what is going on here. So let's see the volcano, which is erupting right now. We can zoom 20 times, and that's what we did. And this volcano is spilling over in the river here, you see. Huge outflow. It's going in this big river down the hill at very fast speed. Let me zoom out a little bit so that you could see the whole picture. You see. Zoom out more. So, huge outflow of lava which is going in the river towards the ocean. You see, into Nathai. It will start running into Nathai very soon. I'm on the very top of Big Ram actually. You see, it's people where I pile up rocks, so I will use a chance to put my rock. It's second time I'm here, no, third time, sorry. So I'll put my rock as well here at this big rock. So I put this rock to commemorate my arrival to the big ram top here in the night on July 2nd. You see it's even a sign here from the land measurements they're doing, well, some sort of a state authority that is a geological authority or I don't know how you call it so here you see it uh, the clouds we are in the skies now and there you see hot lava in Meradalir look there's lots of hot lava in Meradalir right now maybe I will go down for one hour to check it I will go down maybe in Meradalir and then back home and there's lots of hot lava in Meradalir, look, it's incredible, but there is more interesting thing is here, look here what is happening, this is the volcano, you see, the volcano, but look here, at this thing, sorry, is, uh, they call them, uh, what, Skylights, lava skylights. You see lava skylights? It's uh, lava running down into Meradalir. And you see a hole that's kind of uh, spilling over in that hole. It's like a hornito. I think those are hornitos, yeah. Like, I saw it you a hornito, you know, when lava spills over from them lava tube on the top and that is what is happening here because it's like a mini volcano without uh, without a uh, real uh, source of magma that would it's like rootless crater that's how you call it rootless crater hornito it's there is a lava tunnel here and there is lava tunnel there you see 
and it's going um, into Meradalir over there. Lots of hot lava in Meradalir. You see. Uh, let's take a bit closer look into Meradalir so that we could see. Um, now my videos will be more stable because. Uh, during Trevor's traps, uh, stabilization was off in my phone. Like the last one was okay, but like the, the traps before that, so they were kind of shaky. But now uh, stabilization is on, so it should be very fine. And you can see Meradaler right now in the night. What is happening here? Uh, somebody left a box here. I don't know what is this box. Strange. And, uh, it's very impressive view here in the night we have from uh, from Big Ram we are on the top of the highest mountain here in the neighborhood here is getting a bit windy but uh, uh, look how much hot lava is in Meradale right now you see it's uh, spilling over all the edges is the new inflow of lava into Meradale Today on July 2nd, July 2nd already, it's more than three months since volcano started to erupt and it flooded uh, this valley. This valley was one of the first that had been flooded by lava, you know, and it's still being flooded. And you see here um, the incomes through the tunnels. You see, lava is flowing through the tunnels there. And there are holes, there are real holes in the tunnels, you know, and uh, that's why you see the light. Uh, those are called lava skylights, but look how beautiful it is in the night now. Look at the crater. The lava was just falling down the crater, down this wall, you know. It's real, really beautiful when it's like spills over the, on the walls. Hot lava, beautiful. And um, that's what you see here from the top of uh, Big Ram. You see a huge inflow of lava into Meradal. Also, also, I haven't seen such hot lava in that high, but you see where it is going now. But now we have this river, which is, of course, a different case. It's uh, on ground flow, which is not happening often because usually the lava flows through the tunnels, but it's on ground river that is running down uh, towards not high. You see, at very, very great speed. Beautiful. You see, it's all coming from the upper mantle of Earth, from 20 kilometers depth. And um, because uh, crust in Iceland is very shallow, the Earth crust is only 11 kilometers, like, like uh, in the oceans, uh, on the mainland crust is, uh, I think, 70 kilometers, or something like that. So it's, but in Iceland, because we are in the ocean and it's like, Basically, we are on the bottom of ocean here, but ocean is missing. So it's about 11 kilometers thin crust, and that's why it's easier for the lava to get through here. And also, of course, tectonic plates uh, um, are not exactly sliding. Uh, they are actually not separating here in Iceland, but we have a plates transform. They are sliding against each other right here in Reykjanes Peninsula. They are. I think that's what, what is happening. Because I listened to Professor Torderson, Icelandic volcanologist, he was telling that in Reykjanes you have a tectonic plates transform, not separation, but so American plate is uh, sliding against uh, European plate. And there is a formation of new continent, uh, many right. Iceland is a new continent, which is quite special, that is what is happening. So uh, peace be with you, God bless you all, abundantly. 
Be well. Greetings from heaven.